Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to create this 3D looking star in Affinity Designer. Alright, so to get started we go to File New and we create a new composition. We give it 1000 by 1000 pixels in dimensions. And then we go to the Margin tab and we uncheck Include Margin and we click on Create. And then we'll make sure that snapping Snap to object bounding boxes and include bounding box midpoints are enabled, as well as snap to spread. And then we take the star tool. We set the fill and the stroke to none. And we'll leave the number of points to 5. And then while holding Ctrl and Shift to expand from the center and keep the one to one proportions, we go ahead and we create a star of around 700 by 700 pixels in dimensions. And then we select the star and we take the pen tool. We'll leave the fill and the stroke settings as they are. And then starting from the top point of the star, we draw a line to its middle. And then to its top left inner corner. And then back to the starting point. And then we take the move tool. And we are going to hide the star and select the shape. And then we're going to give it colors. So we take the gradient tool, we'll leave the context to fill, and we set the type to linear, and we set the color to the left to a dark shade of yellow, and the one to the right to a lighter shade of yellow. And then we can adjust the midpoint if we want. And then we're going to duplicate this shape to create the rest of the star. But before we do that, we're going to turn it into a symbol. So we go to a layer, create symbol. So now this shape is turned into a symbol. What that means is that after we duplicate it, Every change that we make to one symbol will automatically also affect the other symbols. And then we press on Ctrl J to duplicate the shape. And we flip it horizontally. And then we move the duplicated shape to the right while holding Shift until it snaps to the bounding box of the first shape. And then we select both shapes. And we go here to enable Transform Origin. And we set the rotation center in the middle of the composition. We press enter to bring out the move duplicate panel. We check on duplicate and we set the number of copies to four and the rotation angle to 72 degrees and we click on OK. So this creates the rest of the star. So now we have created the star. Before I wrap up, I will show you the benefit of working with symbols. So I'll select the first of the symbols and I will uncollapse it and select the shape. And now if we decide to alter the gradient, if we do it on one symbol, it will automatically also update on the other symbols. So this is the benefit of working with symbols. And also I will give it a bit of noise to give it that genuine gold feeling. Alright, so that was it for this tutorial. You'll learn how to create a 3D star in Affinity Designer. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye!